says it is indeed spring, but some people have a hard time letting go of the winter. Like these guys, they ski and they snowboard even when there's not much snow left. They compete at Tyro Basin even through June on this half pipe here, but the jumps have closed until next year. Quite the thrill for someone with no fear. Big adrenaline rush, huge. More than, I mean, I've bungee jumped, it's just like that. It's huge adrenaline rush, especially if you can keep going and learning new tricks. Yeah, there's fear, but I mean, once you land the trick, I mean, it's just, it's unreal, the feeling. It's just great. Not sure if that looks like fun or not, but we'll have a complete story tomorrow on our 6 o'clock sports. I went and interviewed these guys and was just in amazement. You could not pay me to do any of you that. You didn't try it? Did not oh, attempt it. Looked at the jump and <laughs> went home. Can you imagine the spills they have to take in order to get one of those perfect jumps? And none of them have had major injuries. It's amazing. They're this young. No They're kids. <laughs> They're right, daredevils. Yeah. Thanks a lot, sure. Marnie. Thanks, Marnie. There are those who wish they could. Title, and here's to taking a walk on the wild side. It is one sweet ride for these guys coming up in sports. Ladies and Imagine going 35 miles an hour down a hill, then flying 50 feet into the air. Oh, yeah, and landing all on skis. It's the daredevil's version of a good day on the slopes. Marnie Gellner has more on one last winter hurrah. <laughs> Big adrenaline rush, huge. It's a good feeling. When you go up in the air and you just don't know what's gonna happen. As the snow melts around them, these thrill seekers flip over their last chance for some real hang time. I remember onto like regular skis scaring my parents around age six. Daredevils by nature, they live for this rush. Yeah, there's fear, but I mean, once you land the trick, I mean, it's just, it's unreal, the feeling. It's just great. <laughs> When you're trying harder stuff, you get a little scared. And you land it and get a little happy. This jump is actually considered pretty big. It's right around 10 feet. But these guys will get upwards of 50 feet into the air. And while that may seem scary to you and definitely to me, to these guys, it is pure adrenaline. I've seen some nasty falls. I've had some nasty falls. Last year, I had my first injury. It wasn't real bad. I just kind of dislocated a vertebrae. Now he's right back at it. You can't keep a thrill seeker down. Sometimes you can't even understand him. People do 1080s, 1260s, 1440s, three, four rotations in the air. For those with no fear, that's love in any language. Marnie Gellner, News 3 Sports. Thanks, Marty. Tyro Basin has closed down the jump until next winter, but the half pipe is used until a competition in June. You know, they actually cover that with old tarp from the uh -huh. brewers and uh, just get it all going back in the I was going to say, that better not all be just for fun. Uh, get those guys into some competition. Yeah, well, uh, several of them have tried out for the X Games, didn't make it the last time yeah. around, but I bet they'll be there okay. eventually. Great. Thanks, Thank Angela. Sure. And oh. Uh, Hamilton Middle School. David Lynch. <laughs> Bitch, get inside. Nice. Oh. Yeah! Oh, fuck. You all right? Woo! <laughs> Don't 
don't push me over. Oh, hell no! <laughs> oh, Oh! <laughs> Got the back of your skis on there.